The NAS Pensacola shooter was motivated by jihadist ideology. That announcement coming today from the U.S. Attorney General. William Barr also revealing 21 members of the Saudi military are being sent back to their country as a result of the shooting investigation. News 5's Washington correspondent Kelly Meyer joins us now live in Washington with more on this report revealed today by the Justice, uh, Justice Department. Kelly? Good evening. The Department of Justice and the FBI say these 21 members weren't linked to the shooter or any other terrorist group, but they had derogatory messages on social media and some even possessed child pornography. This was an act of terrorism. More than one month since the deadly shooting at a Pensacola, Florida naval base, Attorney General William Barr shared the latest on the investigation. The DOJ and the FBI say the shooter posted anti-American, anti-Israeli, and jihadi messages on social media just hours before the attack. They say the 21-year-old shooter acted alone when he killed three American service members and injured eight others on December 6th. He was a member of the Saudi military taking part in a U.S. training program. The Royal Saudi Air Force, which flies American-made aircraft, is an important military partner and has long had a training relationship with the United States. During the investigation, Barr says 21 other Saudi trainees were found to have made derogatory posts about the U.S. on social media. Some also possess child pornography. All 21 are now removed from the training program and returning to their home country. Barr says the next step in the investigation is unlocking the shooter's cell phone to examine its contents, but that's proving to be a challenge. So far, Apple has not given any substantive assistance. Barr says the shooter deliberately damaged his iPhones during the attack. The FBI fixed the phones, but FBI Deputy Director David Bowditch says so far they can't unlock them without Apple's help. Even with a court order, to date, we cannot access the contents of the two phones. Apple has not responded to our request for comment. And members of Congress are speaking out tonight about what happened. Florida Senator Rick Scott's calling on the Saudi government to recall all Saudi nationals training in the U.S. to go back to their home country until the Department of Defense conducts a full review of the program.